Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this uh, lovely Thursday, the 24th of January. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. All right. Deb, good to see you. Mike, Mark Miles, good to see you. Steve, everybody. Ken, everyone. All right, Grant. All right, everyone. Let's just get started. Um, so anyway, uh, markets, <laughs> you, still got the, you still got the government closed. And uh, I'll tell you, the things I've been hearing... I don't know. I, we're probably going to see a lower GDP because people ain't spending money. So hopefully they'll be opening up this uh, government soon. It looks like I've got a couple of votes going on today. So I'll tell you, I, it's from seeing what's been happening in government, I, I think it's been affecting the stock market because I don't know about you guys, but I haven't really found that much movement in the morning these last like three days. You know, I'll be honest with you. I didn't do any pre-market trading so far in the past three days. Um, we did well yesterday when the market opened up. But overall... I mean, I don't know. It's not like we found like the other ones, you know, that move like the MBOT and all those. I mean, we had those stocks that went up, you know, two, three hundred percent in one day, and I'm not really seeing it that much. And I'm, I'm just calling what it is. And I want you guys to know that not every day is a trading day, you know. And I know that we really focus and make a lot of money in the pre-market because you know that's what we're learning in class, and that's what we teach you what to do. But overall, listen, if it's there, it's there. So. You know, so but we do have a few stocks, and I'll go through them. I mean, we know we see what's happening with the airlines; they're, um, you know, they're doing pretty well. Which, by the way, I still can't figure out. You know, I don't know about you guys, but maybe you could tell me where to, you know, the airlines. I can't believe it. I'm trying to book a trip for my family to go to uh, from New York to uh, to Putacana, uh, and they want like twelve hundred dollars, eleven hundred dollars one way. I mean, I'm better off taking a private jet for that price. I can't. <laughs> and, 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 and I wonder why, like, they, they, I'll tell you, they got a monopoly, those guys. Unbelievable. Um, but uh, I guess it's all about supply and demand, I guess, right? <laughs> but you know what? Uh, Andrea, if I fly to Canada and then from Canada go to Putacana, I can get the flight for $500. I can't, that I can't figure it out. So you guys definitely got a niche up there. I don't know what it is about the New Yorkers, but they definitely know how to uh, – Price gouge us over here. Anyway, uh, so let's go over through some of the morning meeting things. We've got some stocks to watch. First of all, just want to put a couple of featured events that we got going on. Uh, first of all, today we got a really big event. Uh, we have the free training session with me. That's going to be at 12 o'clock Eastern time. So uh, hopefully everybody can meet there. I'm going to, uh, you know, I, I changed up my uh, PowerPoint up a little bit. And I really want to kind of discuss in the, in the beginning of it, telling everybody, you know, what is day trading? why we day trade, why people fail in day trading, and then we'll talk about the strategy. So I think you guys are going to enjoy it being there. And also, you know, tell your friends. That's why we recruit. And, uh, you know, these are opportunities to see what it's like to be in a real professional trading room. And then we have uh, tomorrow we got the Big Wealth 360 event. And then Saturday we got another uh, uh, webinar expo. And those are the times I'll be doing my presentations, one at 4, one at 2 o'clock. And then next week I will be at TradeStation uh, doing a presentation at their facility at their Florida uh, headquarters. So hopefully you guys will see us. And then Saturday, uh, next week, February 2nd, we'll be on Metastock. So just wanted to kind of always give you guys an update what's going on on our agenda, where we're going to be. And, uh, you know, and listen, you always learn something. And you know what the best part of it? I always tell you guys all the time, you know what's great about coming here? You get to see, you know, where you were uh, as a beginner and then seeing like, wow, like these people really got to learn how to trade. Um, you know, you see what you see now and it just totally blows your mind. And remember, it's also not for everyone. So that's the great thing. All right. So, um, let's go over a couple of things really quick. What's moving in the market right now. Uh, but before I do that, let me just touch upon what happened yesterday. Cause we had a couple of good stocks that moved and you know, what's so funny. A lot of them were cheapies too. Let's start off with the SPI. You know, that one really came out of nowhere. Let me just fix this uh, time stop right here. No. So you can see right there that that stock was a, a really nice little cheapy right there. That one really went from a buck twenty up to about eleven o'clock, ran all the way to about two sixty, and then from twelve o'clock it just had this big spike and ran, ran all the way to three sixty. A nice little cheap stock uh, wasn't really one of the pre markers uh, that we found. You know that one actually did a did a move. Uh, you know I didn't have it on my morning watch list, but it came. You know obviously there's something that happens. And it just came from nowhere. So that one we did pretty well. That one, uh, very nice little cheap little stock. The uh, the BOXL, let me bring up that one. 
That one also wasn't on, wasn't on the, the the morning pre market watch list, but uh, she did come from nowhere. She just popped out of nowhere, and you could see that one went from two seventy to four dollars. Another really really nice winner. Once again, another little cheapy, which we love cheapies, right? I mean, why go out there and trade, you know, Microsoft at $100, $110, whatever it's trading at? You know, listen, if you had to make your dollar a day, it was great in either one of them. Uh, the BLNK was another one. That one, another nice little cheapy, buck 80. This one uh, was just so easy, though. This one, uh, which one was the easy one? Oh, the B O the B O K L they, they were all like they just kept they just kept going up so easy you know the weirdest part about it is that some of us I know some of us didn't get those positions because we never got to shake it was like weird this thing's not shaking it's like okay it's got to back off it's got to back off it's got there's got to be profit shake and it just kept going 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 so that was pretty awesome um, I know some of us are also this has been on our watch list for a while I'm just telling you to be very very careful of this P C G trade. You know, I know some of us did pretty well in the middle of the day and in the afternoon, but be very, very careful with this stock. Remember, we don't know what's going on. You know, a lot of you were talking about the HMNY, you know, this morning and um, had that work out for everyone, right? Look where it is. We were just talking about this. You know, I got so many views on my YouTube channel talking about HMNY. And, you know, I know there's some people here uh, that, you know, not to mention names, but some of you here came to cyber trading because you watched that video, and thank God you got out because some of you, I mean, would have got destroyed. I mean, some of you owned the stock at sixteen dollars, and look where it is right now—nine tenths of a penny. You know, so you know. But anyway, we know we're not trading these stocks. But you know, my point is, you see what PCG does. Listen, you can't trust these things. You can't trust them. I still don't understand how the stock is still trading. Um, the VIPS was another one that we traded yesterday. Let me pop that up over there. That one was a pretty cool one, too. Just came out of nowhere. Went from 660 to 720. Not a huge winner as the other ones percentage-wise, but that one was pretty decent, as we could all say. All right, so there are some of you right now. There aren't some, some positions. Uh, Ben's already trading the, C, uh, the CLDC trade right there. And that was the one that was top of my list. You know, we were watching the stock in pre-market. You know, it's weird. It wasn't doing anything. Um... And I saw we saw it around a buck thirty five, thirty two. And I told you, I said, guys, look at that big iceberg order on the offer. Let's see if the guy gets done. There was there was a, there was an order on Nasdaq for about uh, fifteen thousand shares. It got taken out, but then she really didn't do anything. But she's starting to move right now. So Ben's already up ten cents. Let's give him a round of applause. Okay, look at that. Even though he's wa listening, he's also trading. A good trade right there. Yeah, stock looks great. You know, some of you remember the stock in July. It ran from two dollars to six dollars, all the way to seven. We know the stock has a short squeeze trade, so you got to be very, very careful with the stock. Can be, you know, with the short squeezes on it, and uh, you know, we all know how with, how that works out. But uh, that one that was actually on the top of my list, JetBlue. You know, we're talking about the airlines. All came out with some good news, but I don't know. Stock just completely backed off. It went from the big percentage gainers. Did a big percentage losers, so I don't know what's up with that one. So um, not too crazy about these airlines. STM right there, that one also up 8%, 300,000 shares. She's kind of flat right now in pre-market. She's trading within this range from like 1520 to 1570. It's really, It's got some really nice iceberg. Look at the matrix over there. So you could definitely work on knowing where the support resistance is. But, you know, she's got a decent spread. Definitely can get in and out of 1,000 shares. But um, kind of like the CLDC, cheaper, better. Southwest Airlines, really the one that's really moving out of them all. This one's uh, gapping up a little bit right now. Um, that one looks pretty decent. So a problem with this one, you know, you know I'm not a fan of trading $53 stocks. Why I got to tie up all that money to trade a $53 stock? It's just, it's a very, we're traders, okay? We're not, you know... We don't look at the stock for the price. We look at it for the opportunity. But I got to throw it in there because the airlines are moving. So I want you guys, you know, if you don't find something, you know, we'll throw it down there. You know, I saw the stock a little bit early. I thought it was going to move. Uh, we saw this. We traded the stock already. LC, uh, the LPCN went over from a buck sixty to two sixty. She's up a little bit. Uh, I don't know. You know what's all? What what's really nice? This AGEN. Okay, now. This one, I don't know. It looks like a sleeper to me. It hasn't moved too much. It's got a little bit of a foul still flag right now in pre-market. 
seven up seven uh, oh, seven and a half percent, sixty five thousand shares traded, got a penny spread. Not the the greatest of iceberg orders, but you could see there's already a fifty six hundred share buyer sitting there at three sixty. So this looks pretty decent. I like this one a lot. You know the MK. See, I put I talked about it early this morning, um, and you know some of you could see it right. You know, if you go back in the chat, I did say this stock looks like a really good short. The problem with this one, it's expensive. So if you're not a level five trader and you can't afford this a uh, hundred and twenty dollar stock, which I don't expect a lot of people out there probably would want to, um, but if you are one of the traders in this room, this was right up your alley. If, if you got in when when I called it out. Right around 8.30 when it was breaking lower lows, you're doing pretty damn well right now on that short. So um, kind of like this one right here on the short side. And then last but not least is the FCX that I found. This one also might look look like and consider a short. You know, this one's been having a nice little uptrend for a little while, but she's breaking lower lows. Uh, only thing I don't like about it, tier sizes. You got a 10,000 share buyer sitting here at 11.45, which is kind of showing why it built support levels right there and just shot right back up. But we really like to see if that buyer gets done. You got some nice, nice uh, iceberg orders out there. See if they hold those supports. So um, that pretty much does it. I think we got all the list right here. Anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out? The, CL, uh, the CLDC is picking up some nice momentum. Here we go. Very strong, right, Ben? Yep. So we called it out, you know, it, unfortunately, it didn't make the, eight, the 8.30 move. It's really making the 9 o'clock move. So that was a nice, you know, listen, that was, a good, that was a good trade right now. It should be up by 30 cents. And listen, there's still plenty of room. What do I always tell everybody if you feel like you're chasing? Buy one share. Just buy one share. What could possibly happen? Remember, you can't learn by training on demo. You can't learn by watching. You got to trade, you know? And that's where it goes. All right, so there's our list, guys. So um, don't forget all these events that we got going on for today. So we'll see you there at 12, at 12 o'clock. And then uh, don't forget, we got this Friday, Saturday. Got a lot of events I'm going to be doing. So hopefully you see. Hope we can recruit some traders. So if you watch us on YouTube or any of our Facebook or Twitter, hopefully you come and join us on these events. This is our website to join, for, uh, join them or just send us an email. In the meantime, uh, fellow traders, see something, say something, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, everybody. And don't forget, yes, that's right. And don't forget class that's going to be going on today uh, with your phase one and phase two. Good luck, everyone.